Have some food. Arthur. Yes, silly? Did you need me? For something? That's Abigail. Uh, not sure if anyone needed me for something. Okay. You deserve a snack, you. Yeah, that's better, girl. Maybe it's about time to bench Rossi, huh? She's worked hard. Focus our attention on another horse. Where is Jack? Jack is right here. Yeah, the little dot here. Why is it locked right now? Is that a lock or... Oh, I guess we should just walk over there, huh? Kieran wants to go fishing? Suddenly everybody wants to go fishing, huh? Molly? We haven't spent too much time with Molly before. Oh, Jack. Hey there, Kieran. Not gonna talk to you just yet, because you want to go fishing. Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Arthur! Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It was, but we gotta be prepared. Alright, well, I should be getting on. Okay, Arthur. Is that sheriff badge gonna be permanently on my vest now? <laughs> Kinda like it. <laughs> I just won a bunch of money. Yes. Hey there, little guy. Get over here. Anyone who wants a drink. I always want a drink. Oh, I know. How'd you win? I cheated at cards, my <laughs> dear, like a proper gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Join us. Have here, any one of you. <clears throat> Got something for me? No, of course not. Why would we? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, you oversensitive <laughs> Finian bastard. There you go. Karen, sing us a song. A song? <laughs> Give me a minute. Let me have a drink first. Oh, of course. Of course. There's not even a seat for me. Good to be alive, my friends. Alive and free. <sighs> Karen, please. You bet your ass we're coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Valentine, we're coming out tonight to dance by the light of the moon. Swing right and left and stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle. Swing right and left and stick it in the middle. Hang on with the girls in the morning. You bet your ass we're coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Valentine, we're coming out tonight to dance by the light of the moon. Swing right and left and stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle, swing right and left, and stick it in the middle, and go home with the girls in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Why are you dressed as a sheriff? Oh, because I was playing sheriff. Are we supposed to call you You're Sheriff all in Morgan a good now? Mood. I won big at cards, by which I mean I cheated to high hell. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha, see? There's life in the old dog yet. At least he's not killing anybody. Okay, I'll catch you later then. See you later. We all have fun. All right, where is little Jack? Susan! Hello, Mr. Morgan. What would we do without you? Turn feral, I imagine. <laughs> Just know, we're grateful. We'll see you later. You gotta keep the boss lady happy. There he is. The man who saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure. I'm gonna go find Jack. Can I keep my sheriff badge? I hope so. I'm not sure though. Everybody's fishing! Jack, you wanna go fishing? Yeah, where's your dad? Oh, the Sioux. Little son. We're not home. Sorry. It's my fault, Sadie. You think they're off our backs? For now. 
Long enough for us to figure out what we're doing. They're gonna let a bunch of criminals go after what we've done. We are not criminals. We are outlaws. That's different. Of course there is a goddamn difference. And when you figure out what that is, you'll know what the hell we're doing. It feels like we're running, running, killing, and running some more. Listen, these are tough times, of course. But now, this is when we have to be our strongest. We're gonna make it. We are gonna be okay, but please, Javier, I need you strong. Okay. Not okay, okay, yes or no. Strong or weak. Which is it? Strong. Dutch is a motivational strong. speaker. You better not be doubting me as well, Arthur. Mm. You don't gotta worry about Javier's loyalty. I ain't so sure about any of you these days. Ah, oh, come on, Dutch. I ain't so sure about you either. Well, I should get back to it. All right, then. Little Jack has been waiting for his thimble for the longest of times. Alone. Hey, Jack. Hi, Uncle Arthur. Here, Jack. I found you a thimble. Oh, thanks, Uncle Arthur. I drew you a picture. It's by your tent. <laughs> Thanks, kid. You okay? Oh, you're welcome. How's the reading going? I'm getting better. Great. Good. Well, keep it up. Let me know if you find candy. All right. Reading. He doesn't even go to school, so who's teaching him? Just Abigail? Well, we gotta go find the picture at the camp, right? And then we're gonna do some... Journal reading, probably. But first, Stu. There he is. Hello, Arthur. What you got going on? Nothing much. Yeah, that don't surprise me. Hip, hip. Okay, Arthur. Is the Stu not ready yet? Hi, Uncle. There he is. Oh. The proud Englishman. Don't fight other men's battles, boy. And anyway, my family weren't even English. What are you? Why are you so obsessed with me being English anyway? See, I clearly touched a nerve. King Arthur. <laughs> well, at least you're working for once anyway. Maybe he's just self-conscious about being Irish. There's no other Irish people around here. Did someone bowl up some manure? Ugh. Oh, talking about me? You good, Abigail? Oh, hello, Arthur. Is the boy behaving himself? For the most part. Okay, I'll leave you two to it then. All right then, Arthur. He's not wearing any shoes. That's an easy way to get infections. Hey, what are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine, I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. We got some of that right now, right? Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. You want to see it, Arthur? Uh, sure. Javier. Okay, that's enough for me. <laughs> Seriously? Everything good? I guess. All right. Everybody sidetracking me. God damn it. There was a hawk's feather here. Someone leave that here? Hmm. All right. Where is my camp in this new place? It's over here. So, what do you think? What do you mean? About those two families. The rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Yeah. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. 
Yeah, we'll find out when we go investigate the greys back in the area. Little John, where is your picture? Hair pomade, I'll have that. You left it by my tent, right? Uh, that's the photo. First bank robbery newspaper scrap. Brazen bank robbery. Major TJ Belfort has been a cashier at the banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared him for what had transpired last week. Is this about the Blackwater thing? Because I don't remember robbing a bank. It was about 2 o'clock. Three men, strangers to me, came through the door and walked up to the counter. One of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. Suddenly, the largest, a big, sullen young man, brandished a firearm and held it up to my face. Throw up your arms, the third one said, who appeared to be the boss. The other two repeated the order with an oath, and the leader said, My fine patriotic friends and I are going to relieve you of some of that gold and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came around the counter and grabbed some sacks which contained $5,000 in gold. They demanded to know where the rest of the money was, and I pointed out three sacks containing silver, but it was too bulky for them. They retreated, and one warned against sounding an alarm. I was never so terrified in my life, Mr. Belfort told a reporter. The robbers are reported to have lingered in town, and there are unproven claims that the men traveled to hovels and shanties, and even a home for orphans, and gave handfuls of the ill-gotten gains to the poor. Oh, it's like Robin Hood, huh? Is that related to me? Where is the picture from Jack? I want to see the picture. We do have a book here and um, a flower. Hello, Karen. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. How's your name? Fine. Have we even been watering this? Do we need to water it? Is it just a sample here? You know, while we were Zoological compendium. I think we read a little bit of this last time. Oh my god. Badger, skunk. We haven't seen skunks around, have we? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is the only page. Badgers. Dig holes. I have been thrown from my horse on several occasions as I stepped into a badger hole. I got up, covered in dust, cursed to the heavens, and took to killing every one I could find within miles. How hateful. When approaching its hole, this idiotic creature will pop its head out to see what's coming, place it shut between the eyes, take the fur, and throw the rest in the stew pot. Skunks, however, should be a bit more difficult, right? With the smell and all. A note on animals, water and debilitation. Serious sickness often takes a household when fouled water is drunk. This can debilitate a man from hunting or farming, and instead he is resigned to the outhouse while his spouse looks on in mournful derision and pity. As he neither pleases her in the bedroom nor provides ingredients for bread for the supper table. <laughs> Creatures are thirsty too, and will fall into your well, spreading disease before it is discovered. Obtain a cask and layer small pebbles, charcoal, and a layer of sand inside. Attach a faucet at the bottom in order to draw off the water. This will provide perfect drinking water, even if it tastes slightly like a dead raccoon. Ew. Hmm. Did someone give me this book? Well, I'm not sure where Jack put a picture for me. Yeah. Do we want to shave a little bit? I'm okay. I'm alright. Let's... Okay, first of all... Can we save the outfit with the badge? Because I want the badge. Oh, but will people get mad at me for pretending to be a sheriff when I'm not really one? Okay, it's saved outfit two now. Oh, I get to keep the badge on me! Yeah! On any outfit! Oh, that's... that's beautiful. Oh. This outfit is suitable for hot temperatures. This one for average temperatures. Cool, cool. We have four out of five outfits on my horse. Which ones? Oh, custom outfits. One. <laughs> one without the star. Yeah. So we got this one on the horse. Average. Cold. Hot. Yeah. 
That's fine. That's fine. Let's go to sleep, and then tomorrow morning we will. Hey, Karen. Dance with me, Arthur. Just for a minute. Okay. Okay, okay Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> Why never better? Come on, dance with me. No music. <laughs> Where's Molly? <laughs> this is nice! Just like being a normal girl. Oh, being normal's good, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what aspects of it is? That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this is a little bit too close. Karen is pretty young, I presume. Not too old. I don't know. <laughs> well, all right, Karen. I was just gonna go to bed. If that's all right. It's 12 in the morning. <laughs> all right, good night, everybody. Good night. You can spend so much time at the camp here. Yeah. Morning? Morning, everybody. I think I got a little bit thinner again, <laughs> judging by the um, the thing that just popped up. Yeah, I'm underweight. Oh well, I'll eat a good meal back at the the cities or whatnot. Do we have a dog here? More problems have befallen us, more running. Leviticus Cornwall, the oil, sugar, rail, and greed merchant, whom we robbed a while back, had us ambushed in Valentine. Seems he has added to the price on our heads. We shot our way out of town and narrowly escaped with our lives. The only amusing aspect of the horror was Herr Strauss getting grazed and acting like he... is gonna die? <laughs> hey, uncle. Was preparing for a short trip down to hell. After this, we fled the country and headed even further south and east, camping by a lake. This is pretty much a new country for me. Charles and I saved the family of Germans who were killed in the process. Oh, who were in the process of getting themselves killed. He's a better man than me. He does not need to think to be good. It comes naturally to him. Like right... Like right is deep within as opposed to this conflict between good and evil that rages within me. If only we had fled west out of Blackwater. We could be free now, out where we belong, beyond civilization, with the savages and the animals. Here, we won't ever be at home. A lot of doubts. The tree. Roads. So, turns out we're holed up outside a town called Rhodes, deep in old cotton country. The place has not recovered from the war, and those folks that is sober enough to think are still angry. The drunk which is most of them, are angrier still, but perhaps for other reasons. Adding to the absurdity, we appear to be planning to deputize ourselves into the local law enforcement. That's gonna go so well. And have already taken down a major bounty on their behalf, but mostly to rescue slippery old Trelawney, who got himself arrested for some of his usual nonsense. Seems like there is a long-running blood feud between the two old families here, and both Dutch and Hosea believe they may be sitting on a lot of gold. We shall see, I guess. Mrs. Adler, the widow we rescued a while back, might be the craziest one of all of us. She fights like a cornered polecat with a rage and a bloodlust that frightens the hell out of me. I ever get on her wrong side, and I am a dead man. I don't intend to. She's a fine woman, amusing and good-hearted and decent and angry. I took her shopping to stop her filleting old Pearson right in camp. After we got jumped, she went insane and showed she can kill with the best of us. Met a fella called Miss Margaret, 
an animal trainer and showman or showwoman, mistress of danger. Quite a character. Wants me to find some missing animals. A note on Sadie though. It's good that we get more people who can fight, right? Because that's obviously way better than having more women around that don't really... They can't really defend themselves. Especially when we have a kid here too. A while ago, I met... <laughs> a while ago, last page. I met an odd man dressed as a lady animal trainer. Are all Englishmen that weird, I wonder? All his animals were as fake as the rest of his act. Until I was to find and retrieve a real lion from somewhere or other in Africa. I thought it was going to be another dog. But no, it was a real lion. Thing looked like it wanted me for its next meal. And it did get you. <laughs> After hunting a zebra that was a donkey and a tiger that was a cougar and another lion that was just a dog. Or I think that's right. I think I've lost track of the whole thing. And an assistant that's a real woman. And him a strange English maniac in a dress pretending to be all that he isn't. Remind yourself never to go on stage. <sighs> yeah, we'll stop here for now. It's been a long day. We've had a lot of adventures, haven't we? It's been pretty crazy here. Alright. Well, Strauss? Ha! Herr Morgan! Do you need me for anything? Herr Strauss, how are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Shocking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in Rose. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> mm. One is near Strawberry. That's good for us because we always wanted an excuse to go back over there, right? Oh, uh, where is it? Do I need to wait a little bit? Because I don't see it here just yet. Oh, this guy? No, this is the Greys. Maybe it didn't show up? How about now? Yeah, I don't quite, um... Hmm. Even if I look on the legend here... We gotta go to the fence, by the way, to check on that emerald. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like, uh... Well, well, we'll do it whenever we can. Sure, why not? We just did some fishing, and, uh, well... I guess maybe we can talk to Molly. Molly... is with Dutch, right? Molly is someone that we haven't really spent too much time on. Oh, there it is! The money icon? Gwyn Hughes? Yeah, right in Rhodes, and Winton Holmes. Yeah, when we do that, we'll get this. And we have no bounty here. <laughs> so that's actually good. I wonder if we can use a boat and sail all the way over there. That'll be pretty sweet, huh? Well, the trip might be a little bit long, though. We'll see. Hey, Kieran, I will fish with you some other time. Sorry, man. <laughs> all right. Molly? Everyone doing good this morning? Is there stew? Is it too late? Hey, Arthur! C can I have a quick word? Hey, I didn't tell Dutch about the little diversion on our supply run. Why not? I'll fight any time and any place. Yeah, and that's the problem. <laughs> anyway, I won't disturb you. If you say so. Thanks for keeping the chickens fed. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? <sighs> oh, you're Irish too. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Ah. Arthur! 
Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. <laughs> now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or... You get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. What about Molly? This way. Bunch of smart Alex. That was pretty yeah. rude. We didn't even finish our How conversation. Do you get wind of this old man. We only been down here all of five minutes. <laughs> well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Do you guys mind if I clean my weapons really quickly? <laughs> By the way, sometime I want to go to a gunsmith because apparently you can save your gun settings, the loadout, if you go to a gunsmith. But uh, I haven't checked that option out just yet. Maintain? Uh, did we like the carbine or the other one? Lancaster? I mean... Wow, the crappy carbine, I mean the dirty carbine, has higher damage than the Lancaster. It's kind of awful. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs Bear. to die here. You see, gentlemen? No! <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> hey, wait! Wait, guys, wait. Yep. Ooh. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Yeah. Oh. Let's see what's inside. Don't be scared, Rossi. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Uh oh. Shit! Hey! Think I see something? Oh, great. Up ahead. Let's go, Arthur. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs> Do we want to kill them or do we want to run away? I have a sheriff's badge on me. We got a lot of company back there. Do not let him get away. 
Do we want to spread right, out? Fellers, come on. Oh dear. No, no. I should probably take off that badge. <laughs> nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How loud I know. Don't shoot. Come on, Arthur. Dead man. Oh dear lord. Watch out, Arthur. We don't want to shoot here because Dutch said no. Let Holy go, god. Boys. Get rid of these sons of bitches. They're getting away. Keep going. Do I have to follow them? Or can I just go my own way? Sorry, Rossi. Slow down, ah, the guy's like right next to us. Come on. We need to lose him. Oh, he's dead. You can move fast when you have to, can't you? Just shut up, Williamson. Ugh. Oh, I feel like Dutch will get mad. Quick! Get off the trail! Into the woods! Hey. Let's shake him and get back to camp! No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men to camp. All right. Whoa. Let, let, let's hide in here. Quick. With the horses? Uh, get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. We'll stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh... <laughs> Get some rest. Ugh. You want to spread out? There's two houses, right? Yeah. Oh, but that one might actually have people. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Oh, shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Get out here. Get out here. Let's just... Keep this calm. See what happens. Oh, there's another squatter. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Go ahead. Go ahead. Tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Wow. Ain't me. Better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the the barn. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> what are we gonna do? Are we just gonna wait here and let them find us? Can I get out here or me? <sighs> Can I grab the guy when he comes over? Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now the old guy up there is full of crap. Yeah, I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! No! Shit! Are you kidding me? Oh! Get hell, boys. My god! Ah! God damn it! Behind you, Charles! Behind you, Charles. We got more of the bastards on this side. I can't see. Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's going and up to security. More on the right here. I thought we were gonna be okay. God oh, damn it, die, Bill. Man. You had one job. I can't see them. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot. Watch out. 
in here. This fella really don't like getting raw. Let's just hope. Let's just hope we can get the hell out of here. Run out of bullets. Oh my god. Hold up. They teach you that move in the army too? Can't you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds? I can't you move. Into this. Cause everyone's like hanging around this place. We stopped robbing Cornwall for a while. I didn't know we was robbing Cornwall. All right. Where the hell is that guy not dying? Move, Bill. There's a rainbow in the background. Do you see it? Hold them back. Do not let them close in on us. God damn it! They're climbing in this way now. Oh God! It's coming in. There's a lot of people everywhere. Where are they? I probably have to try using a rifle. Oh, I don't have the rifle on me. I got a repeater and a shotgun? What? Oh my lord. Don't worry, fellas. We ain't going out like this. No goddamn way. Why? You got another surefire plan for us, uncle? Last one. Got more on this side. Really? Are you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, this is it. I'm officially retired. Oh. Coming in from the front. Shit. Fire. Yes, yes. We got a fire. Oh god. Why is there a fire suddenly? Let me get in there. I don't know. Everyone's I am. You would be. Are we good? We don't get out of here soon. We're charcoal. Oh, we gotta go. This whole place is catching. Come on, old man. Can we go? Come on, Arthur! Let's head to the woods! Oh, we should have done this from long ago. Arthur! Run like a normal person, please! Come on. We're running out of bullets, too. This is really not good. Yeah, I'm right here, guys. Let's go, let's go. I don't even want to look back. Well, they split up a bit. Try to confuse them. Arthur, with me. Ah, uh, I don't want to no, be with you. Too damn close. Anything dumb, Williamson, you're on your own. Oh, shut the hell up. Quick. Behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my Shh. right. Oh my god! You see anything? Not yet. Maybe I went a little too fast. I'll enjoy killing you. Uh oh, clearly those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. All right, but we need some supplies, so I am gonna be stopping to loot these people. Okay, okay. Let's try a pistol. I can't see. It's so. Make your peace. This is probably on purpose. But I can't see very well. I'll kill you. Whoa! Oh, there's
there's more and more people. Run away, horse. Ha! Wasting a lot of land, boys! Keep your fights. Woo! Too close! You don't mess with the ball. You see that guy? We all still alive? Yeah. Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest hey, mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. At some point, we lost a bandana, too. Oh. $900. My share is 100 Oh, uncle, uncle, uncle. Uncle and Bill. Save uncle when he's overpowered. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. I'm good. Where are we now? Where is Rossi? I don't even know. Oh my god, okay, go. A witness that hasn't seen the criminal is marked in the dark red. Uh, the law will come investigate later. Should I try to stop the witness or... Oh, they're so far away though. I don't know, or should I just try to get out of here? Let me get Rossi first, either way. Can we try to catch up to the... Okay, well, they reported Let's it. Go, girl. We gotta go. Yep. They'll investigate, as in maybe they'll remember my clothing or something. So this might be a good time for me to really get an extra set of average temperature clothing. Yeah? In fact, maybe I want to switch it out right now. <laughs> Just in case, right? Winter... It's a little bit too cold. Yeah. Grizzly Outlaws. Maybe I'll just do it without the sheriff badge, at least. Um... One, right? Yeah, okay. <gasps> Lord! We don't want to go back to camp for the next little bit. We are heading back... Oh, to St. Denis! Okay. Well, we can probably go to Rhodes. Yeah, but we, uh... Oh god, they're like hot on my heel. If I try to come here, is it gonna be too stupid? Because the, the police people are gonna be there, right? We'll see. I'm hoping by the time we get to Rhodes, it's gonna wear off. They try to distract me with the whole wagon robbery thing right now, but earlier, Molly wanted to talk to me because... She thinks that Dutch is cheating on her? Was that the problem? Something about loyalty. Why are you screaming? Oh, there's a whole bunch of you. Pigs or what? They're squealing. At least the law is not looking at me anymore. Oh my gosh. Wild boar. Hey. Hey there. What the hell are you doing? I am so there? sorry. Sorry. Uh, do I have to wait until morning for you? Okay, we can do that. We can do that, maybe. Living legend right here. Oh, there were people in the back. Should have went and checked that out. Well, I survived the night, and nobody came to get me. So I think we're okay? Uh-oh, mister. Uh... How far? Don't you tell me I'm not? Oh, it's here. I was wondering where the hell we ended up. This place is full of... Oh, uh, you should see yourself. Poor people. Hey, you got anything for me? All right, then. Better be good. We don't want to sell the cards, right? 
Huh. Should I be selling these to the fence or? I wonder. Not bad, this. I wonder who fetches the best prices, or does it even matter? Maybe not. Well, you don't do this as a profession, huh? Real good doing business with you. As long as you have the items I need. Coyote Fang Trinket. I can make it, but what does it do? Permanently increases player's dead eye experience bonus by 10%. Why not? Lion's Paw. Stamina experience bonus. Can I have more than one trinket at once? Stamina's pretty good. Yeah, I'll craft both of them. Or maybe just the lion's paw for now. Right, let's see then. Do I have to equip it or what do you want me to do? Can't get this anywhere else. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Yeah, so do I need to like equip this? Maybe we'll open the satchel and find out. This is a unique item. Well, I can't act on it in any way. I'm guessing maybe we just keep it in our inventory? Thanks. Let's go, Rossi. We gotta go back to Rhodes. You know, because we're the sheriff. We gotta keep up the law and order. We haven't been back to Rhodes in a full day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> was there a reason why I was going back to Rhodes, though? Not really, but somebody's looking for me. And there is somebody who owes money. And if we can get a bath, that would be super. Gunsmith! Yes, gunsmith first. I want to keep my weapon configurations, if possible. Hey, everybody. It's your friendly citizen sheriff back in town. The pile of poop still there? Oh. Oh, yes, we're handsome. Ooh, spirit. No lie. This, hey! This here's the feller. The one that found me. The medicine man, huh? Helps with the mystery box? I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, me, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Having conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man can do. It's a guy with a snake bite. Yeah, well, you're What can I do for you? It's the uh, guy with the snake the bite yeah, yeah. says I can put some here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his owe, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. I would be... I would kill for new clothing right now because I feel like we've been wearing this a little bit too long and people are starting to recognize me. Definitely don't want to buy food, I don't think. Because I'm fancy now. I gotta go eat in restaurants. Oh my god. So much sold out. Hair tonic. Hair tonic? Do I have hair problems? Do I want to grow up my hair? Put simply, it is the greatest hair tonic on earth. You don't need to be bald. You don't need to be prematurely gray. J.J. McClure's Miraculous Tonic intensifies the flow of blood to the hair roots, making hair grow quickly. If you are going prematurely bald, do not resort to contacting a wig or toupee manufacturer. They will be all too willing to sell you something to cover your shame. Instead, use J.J. McClure Healing Hair and Beer Tonic and reverse the process of hair falling out and keep your hair masculinity the dignified way. If you are plagued with a thin, patchy beard, take this tonic daily, and soon you will realize the full bushy beard worn by scholars, monks, and good lovers. Hmm. Well, look at that picture. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm, how much is this regularly, though? Three dollars. No. Is there anything a bit more pricey? Because that's what we do here, right? We... Someone's nice to me, so obviously I'm gonna... Um... I'm gonna take advantage of it. Clothing, maybe? Yeah, do you have any outfits? The Heartlands, an outfit crafted. Can I try it out? Oh, maybe not because it's not a tailor here. 
The Chevalier. The Earl. Oh my god. Ninety dollars. The Gambler. Oh. Uh, okay, well... View? Oh. Oh. Suitable for hot temperatures, so it's okay. Don't know if I want the blazer on and the hat, but I kind of like it. A little bit of red. Brighter red. Spice up our life. Yeah, but do you have any other outfits? No, you know what? I'm lazy. Just give me an outfit and I'll go. <laughs> but I'll view it. Yeah, kind of looks like what we're wearing right now, color-wise. <laughs> that vest. That flowery vest. Let's go for the gambler then. Thank you. It's 123 bucks. You are much too kind. Much too kind. Thank you. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. All right. Cool. Can I take off my hat and blazer right now, or do I have to keep it on for a little bit? I have a... I can control the bandana here, but not much else in terms of clothing. Hey, man, thanks! Pick something up on your tab. Thanks again. Good luck to you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, well, well. I am looking for someone who owes money here. I don't really look like a debt collector right now, do I? Kind of look like Dutch. The manner of dress. Howdy. Fine morning. Oh, there's a gunsmith here. Is it all right if I save my configure? I am so Welcome. sorry. Your first time in my shop? Yes. If it's a gun you're after, you'll want to take a look in the catalog and see what catches your eye. Can you just clean all my guns for me? Because I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> That'd be all right. I'm okay with my selection of guns. Yeah. Clean it. One dollar. You wrap that thing in coal and mud? A dirty gun will never fire right. Ah, uh, after we clean it, we can add components to it. Cool, cool. Uh, which is the one that we use the most? You now the repeaters and the revolvers. Hunting knife. Can I upgrade the knife? Oh, engravings and all? Interested in engraving some? Make that weapon your own. Oh, oh. Maybe like a dark colored blade, just because we can. Yeah, why not? Splurge a little bit. Six dollars. That's more expensive than a meal. Oh my god. I'm really rolling in the money here. What is this? Inlay metals? Oh. Oh my gosh. I've heard some unsavory things about that salesman, Virgil Fish or something. And the Yankee sympathizing is the least of it. Okay, I think we're good for now. Wow, we got a really fancy knife. We gotta use it more often now, huh? Anyway, the... Uh, was I looking at this gun? Components. Rip. That gun seems to be well taken care of. I can rifle the barrel for you if you'd like. Okay, I'm just looking at it now, but is this just customization or can you make it better? Because making it better is what I'm really interested in. I don't care that much about the... the looks. <laughs> yeah, increases accuracy. That's more like it. Okay, fine. I don't even know which gun this is. Range? Sure. Probably want to upgrade my carbine repeater the most, because I think I use that one more. Oh. Make sure you got enough rounds for it. These are just cartridges, but there's different kinds of ammunition. Oh. Maybe we'll try these ones. Express. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. It's only one dollar. Cool. Cool. How about my repeater? Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That could really shine with some carbon in it. This is too damn fancy. Oh my god. I'm taken aback. 
This is too much. <laughs> a nice deep wood color. Yeah, how about this one? Customize it a little bit. Make it our own. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit too much. Metals. A blacker Here, metal. Got any questions? I tend to prefer darker colors. Frame. Make it all black. Oh. That's a thought. Or gold. Make it all gaudy. <laughs> Maybe we'll go with black. Black and steel. Black everything. Even the sight. Oh. Oh, the trigger! No, after I made it full black, it kind of looks poopy. This here stall's as proud and fine as the town it lives in. Oh, yes. Whatever. I'm wasting all sorts of money on these things that don't matter. Oh, my God. Let's buy some express Make cartridges. Sure got enough rounds for it. Yeah, so this one's lower damage but higher range. Let's have the higher damage one. Always good to have a full stock on ammunition. Components. Interested in a stock? Could put some carvings on it, too. Does that really help? Range? Okay. I mean, if I can, sure. You'll notice the difference. I guess I'm keeping this carbine repeater now, right? Because I'm investing so much into it. Way too much. Yeah, maybe a little bit too much. This does not change the stats. Okay, whatever then. No, I don't need a wrap. It's fine. Thank you. Wow, this is a- this was a very fancy trip. Very fancy. Huh. This guy probably thinks I'm super rich. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Now with our new gun- guns, we can go harass the guy owing us money, right? Mister, I've been trapped down here. <sighs> Where's here? Don't look quite right. No! Please don't go! Where are you? Oh! Hey. Why are you dressed up like that? <laughs> I've seen some sick perversions in my time. This one might take the prize. No, 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 wait, please. You gotta help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn front. Oh! I can rob his side business. Suspicious activity. You gotta do something, please. He's never gonna let me go. I'll, I'll investigate. Well, back right away. Um. Uh. Do I want to aim at him, or what do I want to do? I don't want to piss off the whole town, though. Hold on. I'll see you when you change your mind. Sorry about the chairs. Jeez, you gotta get me out of here. It said I can now rob the side business. Is that by aiming, or do you want me to go back here? I'm telling you the truth. He's got me chained up. I just don't want people- we can't use a weapon here because it's roads. What's gonna happen if I take out my gun? It's not gonna be good, is it? You came right back, huh? Whoa, now! That's a fool decision! I wanna see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing or no worse down there, I swear! Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! Alright, alright! I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. I'm so scared I'll accidentally shoot him. Your boy. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. You, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh, thank God. He can't see I only do it for his own good. Just what the hell is going on here? 
He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. Oh my god. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Uh... How do I set you free? Please. Please help me. He, he's got me chained up here. Don't take him away from me. He's all I got. Liar. Please, don't listen to that maniac. He, he ain't my father. Even if he is your father, this is pretty messed I up. I can't lose him. Not again. Please shoot through these shackles. I, I can't spend another day down here. Come on, please. How the hell can I be his son? Yeah, you're right. I- <laughs> I don't want to accidentally shoot the guy, dude. No, the chains! Shoot the chains! <laughs> yeah? Oh, 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 finally! Thank you! Thank you! Oh, oh, you, you I'm sorry! Please forgive me. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. He slipped into the river. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched. Up and down that riverbank for days. <laughs> but I couldn't find my boy. I just miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Ooh, this is a sad story here. This guy's clearly troubled, but there's really... It's not your place to hold someone hostage like that, right? So we had to save that guy. Mm. It's okay, I'm not gonna take his stuff. He's... he has a rough. I'll come back and buy from your business again. Just get some help if you can. Both mentally and uh, for the hair on your head. Oh my god, did you see? He's the one who needs the hair tonic. No, I can't do it. This is not how we do things. We rob from the rich and the evil. Not like this. Not like this.